Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Wizard channel. In this video, we will be discussing about graphing of linear equation. Without further ado, let's proceed to our discussion. Okay? So, in graphing linear equation, there are several ways to illustrate the graph of a linear equation. And one of that is by using the x and y intercept. Okay, so using the x and y intercept, sometimes the x and y intercept is represented x for a and b for y. Okay, so to, to illustrate the graph of linear equation using the x and y intercept, we were going to follow this form a or the x value for x intercept and we have the 0 and 0 and the b for y intercept and take note that when we say x and y intercept the points of our equation is lie on the x and y axis okay so let's have an example so x intercept a is equals to 3 and y intercept b equals to 5 so using this form a and 0 and 0 and b so we have 3 and 0 and 0 and 5 so we have the points we have the two points now so we're going to plot these two points in our partition plane okay so first we have the 3 and 0 starting from origin our x is positive 3 so we're going to move 3 units to the right 1 2 3 and since the y is equals to 0, therefore, our point would be on the positive 3. Okay, so this is the point for 3 and 0. And for next point is 0 and 5. So since our x is 0, we're not going to move to the left or to the right because x is 0. But the value of y is positive 5. So we're going to move 5 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is the point for 0 and 5. And if we're going to connect these two points, we form the graph of linear equation. Okay, so gaya ng sinabi ko, kapag sinabi natin x and y intercept, ang points natin or ang graph ng linear equation ay maglalay mismo sa x and y axis. Okay, so let's have another example y x intercept a is equals to negative 2 and y intercept b equals to 3 so just follow the form a and 0 and 0 and b so we have negative 2 and 0 and 0 and 3 okay so let's plot now these two points so we have the negative 2 and 0 since x is negative 2 we're going to move 2 units to the left, 1, 2. And since the value of y is 0, so mag stay yung point natin sa negative 2. Okay? Next, we have 0 and 3. Our x is equals to 0, but our y is positive 3. So mag-move tayo 3 units upward dahil positive yung value ng y, positive 3. Okay? 1, 2, 3. At dito yung point natin for 0 and 3. Okay? And if we're going to connect these two points, we form the graph of linear equation. Okay? But the question is, what if the given is an equation? Like for example, y equals to x plus 2. So the first thing that we're going to find here is for the value of y intercept. Okay? So for y intercept, we need to let x equals to 0. Okay, so always po yan, nakapag meron kayong mga given equation at graphing linear equation, para may illustrate ninyo ang given equation, kinakailangan nating i-let x equals to 0 for y-intercept. And later on, kapag x-intercept naman, let y equals to 0. Okay, so using the given equation y equals to x plus 2, so, substitute lang natin yung value ng x to 0. So, y equals to quantity 0 for the value of x plus 2. Okay? So, 0 plus 2, that is equals to 2. 
So, this is the value of y intercept. But, our ordered pairs here is 0 and positive 2. Why? Because, as you can see on the previous example, that when you say y intercept, always na ang value ng x natin ay equals to 0. Kaya siya tinawag na y intercept dahil yan ay maglalay sa y axis. Kaya dito, always na 0 yung mauuna dahil sa ating ordered pairs, x palagi bago yung y. Okay? And the value of y is 2. So we have the ordered pairs 0 and positive 2. Okay, next, we have x intercept. So for x intercept, let y equals 0. So the same equation, all we need to do is to substitute the value of y. So we have 0 equals to x plus 2. And since x, the variable x, and the constant number 2 is on the right side of the equation, so we need to transpo transpose this x to the left side of the equation. So from positive, to transpose natin sa left side, siya ay magiging negative x equals to 2. And here, we cannot say that Positive 2 is the value of x because the sign of x is negative. So, kinakailangan natin gawing positive yung x natin. So, anong gagawin natin? We need to divide both sides by negative 1. Bakit negative 1? Kasi yung negative x meron niyang imaginary 1. Okay? So, i-divide natin by negative 1. So, pwede natin i-cancel yung negative sa taas at yung negative 1 because negative Imaginary 1 divided by negative 1, the answer is positive 1 or positive x. And 2 divided by negative 1, the answer is negative 2. So our ordered pairs here is negative 2 for x and 0 for y. And let's plot these two points now. So let's have the 0 and positive 2. So our x is 0, so hindi tayo magmumove sa left or sa right dahil ang x ay 0. But the value of y is positive 2, so we're going to move 2 units upward. 1, 2. At ito na yung point natin for 0 and 2. Nasa y-axis, kaya siya tinawag na y-intercept. Okay, next, negative 2 and 0. Ang x natin ay negative 2, so magmove tayo 2 units to the left dahil siya ay negative 2. 1, 2. At dito yung point natin dahil ang y ay equals to 0. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na x-intercept dahil yung point ay nasa line ng x-axis. And if you're going to connect these two points, we form the graph of linear equation. Okay? Next example, we have y equals to 2x minus 4. So the same process, the same kung ano yung ginawa natin doon sa previous example. Okay? So, for y-intercept, let x equals to 0. Okay? So, y equals to 2, quantity 0 times 0 minus 4. Bakit siya naging 0? Dahil ginawa natin yung x ng equals to 0. Multiply now, y equals to 2 times 0, the answer is 0 minus 4, so we have 0 minus 4. And 0 minus 4, the answer is negative 4. But our ordered pairs here ay always na mauuna yung x, which is 0, before the y value. Okay? Or yung value ng y-intercept natin na negative 4. Okay? And for x-intercept, we need to let y equals to 0. So the same equation, substitute lang natin yung value ng x equals to 0. So we have 0 equals to 2x minus 4. And here, katulad ng sinabi ko, nasa left, uh, right side yung ating 2x, so itratranspose natin yan papunta sa left side para mahanap ang value ng x. Okay? So, we have negative 2x equals to negative 4. Okay? But here we have the coefficient for x. So, anong gagawin natin? We need to divide both sides by negative 2. Bakit negative 2? Kasi yun yung coefficient or yung number na nasa tabi ni x or yung kasama ng x natin. Okay, so kinakailangan natin i-divide. So, negative 2x divided by 2x and that is equals to positive 1x. Okay, so itong x na ito ay meron siyang imaginary 1. 
Okay, so bakit imaginary 1? Dahil negative 2 divided by negative 2, that is imaginary 1. Okay, negative 4 divided by negative 2, the answer is positive 2. So our ordered pairs here is 2 for x and 0 for y. Okay, and let's plot these points now. So first, we have 0 and negative 4. Since our x is 0, therefore, ang move lang natin ay yung value ng y, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Nasa line siya ng y-axis natin. Okay? And for 2 and 0, ang x natin ay positive 2. So, magbumove tayo 2 units to the right. 1, 2. At ang y natin ay 0. So, mag stay sa positive 2 yung ating points. Okay? And if you're going to connect these two points, we form the graph of linear equation. Okay? So, let's have the last example. What if the given equation is written in standard form? Okay? So, kung ganito ang mga given equations sa inyo, at gamit ang x and y intercept para i-illustrate ang linear equation, ang graph ng linear equation, hindi na natin kinakailangan na gawin pang slope intercept form yung ating given na equation. All we need to do is just to let the value of x equals to 0 for y-intercept. So, the same lang sila ng process kahit na ang equation natin is written in the form of standard form. Okay? So, let x equals to 0. So, substitute 4 times 0 for the value of x plus 2y equals 4. 4 times 0, the answer is 0 plus 2y equals 4. And since this is 0, we have the equation 2y equals to 4. Okay? And we have the coefficient for y, which is 2. So, i-divide natin ulit ang ating equation by 2 para mahanap natin ang value ng y intercept. Okay? So, 2y divided by 2, the answer is y. Bakit y? Kasi yung, neg yung positive 2 divided by positive 2, that is equals to 1. At itong y na ito, ibig sabihin yan, meron siyang imaginary 1. Okay? So, 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. Okay? And our ordered pairs here is 0 and positive 2. And for x-intercept, the same lang sila ng process. Let y equals to 0. So, using the same equation, substitute lang 4x plus 2 times 0 for the value of y equals to 4. Okay? Kaya siya naging 0 dahil ginawa natin 0 yung y natin. Okay? So, multiply. 4x plus 2 times 0, the answer is 0 equals to 4. And since this is 0, pwede natin siyang alisin. At magkakaroon tayo ng new equation na 4x equals to 4. And since meron pang coefficient or meron pang number na kasama si x which is 4, so i-divide natin yan by 4. Okay? Para ma-isolate lang natin si x. Kung ano yung ginawa natin sa y dito sa part na ito, ganun din yung gagawin natin kay x. Pero dito, ang kaibahan nga lang, 2 yung number na kasama ni y or yung coefficient niya, pero dito ay 4. Kaya, i-divide natin by 4. Okay? So, pwede natin tong i-cancel kasi yan ay equals to 1 or x. And 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1. Okay? And our... Ordered pairs here is 1 and 0. Bakit 1 and 0? Dahil mauuna palagi yung value ng x natin for the ordered pairs before the value of y which is 0. Okay, so this is our two points. And for the graph of the linear equation, you can graph these two points to see if or to check if you really uh, understand this video or this lesson. Okay, so pwede nyo siyang i-post dyan sa comment section para ma-check. Okay? So, that's all for today and thank you for watching.